Welcome to a journey through groundbreaking innovations reshaping our world. Today, we explore a tapestry of ingenuity and sustainability, spotlighting visionary projects at the forefront of technological advancement. From renewable energy solutions to environmental conservation initiatives, each venture embodies the spirit of progress and resilience. Join us as we unravel the marvels crafted by forward-thinking minds poised to redefine the landscape of our future. The Swiss company Energy Vault builds special gravity towers, which work on the same principle as conventional pumped storage power plants, except that they don't need water to work, so they can be installed almost anywhere. The 390-foot towers are designed to accumulate excess green energy generated by wind turbines and solar panels. A special crane located in the center of the tower lifts the concrete blocks to the top when excess energy is generated and releases it during controlled lowering as needed. The advantage of the design is that it is independent of weather conditions and therefore provides stable and regular generation. In addition, the system described above allows energy to be stored for a long period of time, thus saving on storage costs. The capacity of one such tower can reach 35 megawatt hours. To take a look at the next impressive project, let's go back to the Netherlands. Here, the acute shortage of building space was the impetus for a project of artificially created islands. The author of the idea, as well as its developer, was the Marine Research Institute, Marin. At the moment, the technology is still at the development stage. However, it is already clear that in the future, artificial islands can reach a length of three miles. Thanks to a special design and interconnected triangles, the platform demonstrates flexibility, stability, and is not afraid of waves. It is planned to locate loading docks, power plants, various agricultural lands, as well as residential houses for the service personnel on the artificial islands. In 2017 alone, the project received $2.2 million in development subsidies. This solar fuel power plant is among the largest of its kind in the world. But what is even more interesting, it has been benefiting and generating electricity since 2014. The system is located in the Mojave Desert, California, USA, near the border with the state of Nevada. It consists of three special towers 450 feet high each, as well as three sites with heliostats. The total area of the three sites is five square miles, and on each of them, specialists have installed 173,500 heliostats. The capacity of this amazing power plant ranges from 377 to 392 megawatts. In a year, this allows for the production of up to 856 gigawatt hours of electricity. Studies have shown that also every year the plant reduces the carbon dioxide emissions of mankind by 400,000 tons. A total of $2.2 billion was spent on the project. Another serious environmental problem facing humanity today is the high concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Fortunately, a few years ago, experts from the Swiss company Climeworks proved a way to effectively clean the air from carbon dioxide. The project took off in 2017 when the world's first commercial carbon dioxide filtration plant opened in the Swiss municipality of Hinveli. The plant consisted of 18 modules that aimed to capture air and purify it. Each year, such a plant is capable of filtering up to 900 tons of carbon dioxide. The resulting raw materials can then be used profitably, for example, to make fertilizer for greenhouses or synthetic fuel. 
A mineral water bottling plant in the town of Vols has been using carbon dioxide collected from the air to make carbonated drinks since 2018. The idea of Climeworks is being actively developed. Since 2017, several other similar plants have been launched in Europe. By 2025, experts hope to filter 1% of annual global carbon dioxide emissions from the air. Climate change is causing glaciers to melt, resulting in a gradual rise in sea level. Since this phenomenon jeopardizes the existence of coastal cities, the Italians came up with the large-scale Mose project to preserve Venice. However, the need to protect the city from water became evident in the 60s after another major flood. Mose is an integrated defense system consisting of 78 mobile barriers. When the tide exceeds its normal level of 43 inches, the system isolates all three entrances to the Venetian Lagoon from the Adriatic Sea. The working principle of the system is as follows. During calm times, the barriers are on the seabed. In case of a high tide, they are filled with air, float up and block the lagoon. The start date of the project is considered to be 1989, when a set of measures for the protection of Venice was put forward, which included Mo's. The first section was opened in 2003, but commissioning was delayed for many years. At the time of making this video, it was scheduled for December 31st, 2021. The Moe's project cost a total of six $188 billion, and this amount is not final. Wind farms are in active use all over the world, and it was only a matter of time before a really big wind turbine appeared. The Halley ADX-12MW, however, is an absolute record breaker in this respect. It is officially the largest wind turbine in the world. The author of the project is the French company GE Renewable Energy. When Halley ADX-12MW will be put into operation, the height of the construction will be 850 feet. The diameter of the rotor is 720 feet, and the length of one blade is 550 feet. The final planned capacity is 12 megawatts, which is 63% more than the nearest competitors already operating today. The energy generated by the wind turbine will be enough to supply 16,000 European households. The power plant's contribution to the environment is no less impressive. One year of its use will avoid the emission of 52 million tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. For comparison, this is equal to the annual emissions from 11,000 cars. Plastic pollution in the world's oceans is a problem that gets worse every year, and before you is one of the solutions designed to significantly improve the situation. The author of the project is the Dutch company The Ocean Cleanup. Its specialists have developed a technology to extract plastic from the oceans. The design is a U-shaped trap that works as a mobile shoreline. Because the speed of the barrier is slower than the speed of debris in the water, it accumulates inside the trap. Every few months, the installation is visited by a maintenance ship, which picks up all the trash collected, takes it to land, and sends it for recycling. According to the plan, each year such a system will remove about 15,000 tons of plastic from the Pacific Ocean. This, in turn, will make it possible to reduce the area of the Pacific garbage patch by about half in just five years. It is noteworthy that the floating traps are absolutely safe for fish and other living organisms. To date, the company has managed to launch several systems on the territory of Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Dominican Republic. Some of them have encountered difficulties and breakdowns, but the developers do not give up and continue to invest in the ambitious project.
In a world ripe with challenges, these innovations stand as beacons of hope and progress. From harnessing the power of nature to combating environmental degradation, each project demonstrates the transformative potential of human ingenuity. As we chart a course towards a sustainable future, let us draw inspiration from these endeavors and unite in our pursuit of a brighter tomorrow. Together, we can shape a world where innovation thrives and the legacy we leave behind is one of progress, prosperity, and preservation.